It's video time again. I've done a few videos where I do woman's portrait using light box to make outline if neon traditional tattoo. And there was a comment asking me, can I do same with animals because he or she is struggling with animals and to be honest, they are hard and I'm always like struggling-ish myself. Until this day, I was always wondering what animal should I use, what should I draw and I think I have an idea. I will probably find both images on iPad, then I stick them next to each other because I have two in my mind. Then we're gonna print in between, then we're gonna use Lightbox to transfer the image on Sketchbook. And when I was wondering what kind of animal should I do, I was wondering what animal should you really learn because there's like only like maybe five animals what people always ask, one and the same. They want different images but it's pretty much one and the same animal so it's gonna be one of the five and you can probably guess which one is that. Because I don't see any point teaching you stuff what will nobody will ever ask you to do so. So it's better that you understand something what people will ask you over and over and over again. Because I think people shop with eyes. People don't really think what they want. They, when they see something, they want. So probably the first five images on Google will be something what they will ask you to do. Or Pinterest. First page on Pinterest, they find something they want it or they saw something on our uh, Instagram some famous page showed something they want it they will ask you to do exactly the same same size same place how much for this you will get those millions so let's draw something what they will ask you I can guarantee you million percent you will do those thousands and I've done thousands of them myself and I'm talking about tigers. And to be honest, I have a tiger tattoo myself on my chest and that tiger has four eyes. Why four? Just because it looks cool. <laughs> but what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the tiger and then I'm thinking mirror image of woman's portrait here, like a warrior and probably some Japanese mask, that warrior mask on top of him, uh, or maybe a sword, or spear in between what divides them half and half and I think it will be a pretty cool design now we just need to find a decent woman's portrait I always spend a big time looking for a decent image not just any because not every image is kind of outstanding or it will stay in, me in memory or people's memories we need something like interesting outstanding and because we are looking for like a warrior woman, she has to look sweet, but at the same time a little bit dangerous. I did find a portrait. What I'm looking for now is a helmet what I could add on a tiger. Because I feel like he needs some. He needs to be a, bit, a little bit stronger. And perhaps I'm going to add on a woman as well. Just just to see how it looks like. If it looks wrong, I'm gonna take it off, but I, I feel like I need to try, I need to give a shot. It's always so hard to find something I like. I bet you run into those problems as well. So many images, but there's no images what you like. Well, I think I'll find what I want. So now we're gonna jump on Pinterest, not Procreate, and we're gonna put them together. So this is the portrait I found tiger the composition I'm aiming so now I want to place this helmet on the tiger's head and what you need to do is match the perspective of the head to the same the whole helmet so why do I press distort on iPad and then I play around with perspective to make sure it sits on his head like it, it is supposed to do and this is why I came up with I have a feeling I will need to print out two A3, no, two A4 pages to put all this together. Because it wouldn't be smart to draw this on A4 size, it just, it wouldn't fit in. What do you reckon guys? I think it looks badass, looks well good. Probably it's not gonna be a finished result as this, probably I'm gonna make it more detailed knowing me, but I think it's a really really good start. 
if you wouldn't use light boxes I will what you can do is if you take that click press that little N take the saturation down and you can press a new layer there and then you can draw on top of it and we literally is gonna do the same as lightbox would do see easy as that but we're gonna use lightbox so I'm gonna print that out probably two images stick them together get on a3 sketchbook and I'm gonna do exactly this just on a paper so what I did is made a new layer it's that middle line there see made a little line so I literally delete the top then take that off we don't need this press save as image image saved then two fingers or you can hold it boom you're back to the this one Wait. basically divide in half delete that other half save the bottom image go back delete the top image and save that so you got two pieces up and down and the middle will be where it stood and so you can get this image in two images without changing the size because when you print out if one prints out bigger than another one you're in trouble but in that way you will have 50% of this 50% of that you print them both out and they should stick back like together bang on and then you have image of the bottom and the image of the top if you print them out they're both exactly the same size you'll print on that on A4 you print this on A4 put them together and I'll fit on A3 yeah that should do the job and then what you do is you save this image the one you just printed out and you tape it to the back side of this paper yeah so it doesn't move otherwise you're gonna draw lines and then this moves out the moves that moves that you're gonna lose it so it's easier when you just tape it and it always gonna stay there wherever you do and remember yeah this is your reference photo you're not married to it you can change you can still swap some details you don't need to do 100% as it is don't get frustrated this is your reference photo this is where you take the ideas from not copy 1 million percent of it and the reason it came yellow out is because I have no colors in the printer but he still wants to use some color when he prints out black and gray I press to print black and gray but he still pulls out some colors I think that's just one of the schemes what printer companies wants it just you easier spend the color quicker and that makes you buy new ones and then they make more profit same when I uh, turn the printer just on just on he wants to print out some paper and I'm like why and I, it just clicked me probably they it, it's a mechanism where if you print out the more papers every time you turn on it's the sooner you'll go to get more ink because he just prints it out one and twice and do, 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 do. so I think it's just one of those schemes and probably this is one of those so I'm not going to the shop and waste like 40 quid to just get some color so you can print out black and gray I can work from yellow so that'll do that'll do for me I can still see all the little details either that's yellow pink blue whatever that not gonna stop me and we're gonna work on a yellow voila so now we need to find a pencil it's somewhere I know it's somewhere it's hiding always hiding as always we're gonna fly through with the pencil mark all the the lines we need to mark I'm probably gonna start with the easy areas like the katana then maybe the hand the portrait when I get to the tiger I will explain a little bit more what to do and what not to do but 
all the easier all the easy areas first and yeah let's crack on So when you do any mode texture, basically you follow the line as you would do, but you do like a little bumps, like little hair extensions. So it's not like smooth black line, or let's say, I don't know, even this area, you can still pull a line and then do a little hair kind of like black hair would go over a little bit the white area like that so it's pretty much the same as you as it is in the image you do cleaner but still keep those little bits that same goes for this area for example that is quite spiky so you just follow the, your image and just do it cleaner but go for the average average uh, I don't know how to put that in words to be honest see you can you just literally copy as you see just try to do a cleaner extend some hair make a little bit messier a little bit cleaner well pretty much just copy wherever you see for example here you can see all these little black bumps and just keep them don't simplify if you want to simplify you can simplify but i would suggest keep some little areas see this one it's quite smooth quite clean cut but if you just add a little bit like that just a fraction of a little moves out or like this area you can bring a little bit I don't know, I've, I hope you understand what I mean. And so what, it, what it's gonna do, it's not gonna make it just one like that, but it's gonna look like he has some hair to it. Yeah, this, this is gonna look more cartoony when you just simplify the line dead like that. But if you do the same thing and just add a little bit of hair a little bit of like spikes like you would do lashes on a person that's pretty much it just little spikes like that little bumps little tiny 
you don't do them big ones just small same as I did like cracks here same kind of it's a clean line but little crack imagine if you do this but imagine you do the cracks not inwards but outwards yeah. I hope you can see that see it just looks a little bit more textured and if you just follow the whole image don't get frustrated about this how that looks how that get the whole image done and then if you need to uh, if you need to adjust a little bit make it cleaner here cleaner there go ahead but first get the whole image literally just like that follow the texture given to you because that's literally as it is as the tiger looks like <clears throat> and just follow and in the end if you don't like it you can change if you do like it keep it but don't get frustrated now at this moment because you literally have no no lines at all on it so don't get frustrated get like that yeah same i'm gonna repeat again i'm gonna so this area is quite clean what you can do is add a little tiny spike there and maybe a little bit here and a little bit there you can simplify loads of people go for that i don't like simplify i wouldn't suggest simplify when you simplify it makes your life easier it looks more like a tribal outline get coloring jobs done but if you want to go a little bit higher than that be a little bit more than that and if you want to provide to your people a little bit more than that then they will be more than happy to take more detail than ask any clients you have or you will have if you want to more simplified or detailed they will always go for the detail because they they feel like it's amazing what you can do on the skin when you put loads of little stuff in there and there will be a lot of people who will slack down for the if the image looks more cartoony because they will literally assume that's a cartoon from Tom and Jerry. So yeah, that's what I would do. Just add little stuff like that. Once you finish, then you check and if you if you decide oh, I don't like that, I don't like them little spikes, don't worry, just get them off. Clean up like that. They've never been there that's it job's done but now let's get the whole image just like that adding little bits there and there if you need to extend some black one black areas if you decide you wanna go ahead like i just did extend that till the helmet just because it looks way better when it goes underneath it rather than stops just before or maybe this black i can bring all the way there and again it goes uh, underneath the helmet so it looks like it carries on somewhere and just little features like that just you can play around you don't need to stick exactly as it is um, same I designed different leaves there and played around a little bit here just made as I wanted to make it more and more as you go because you have more ideas coming in new features new you know what I mean Every fifth minute you look on this image like that would be fresh image and you're like, oh, what if, oh, what if, oh, what if, I just do it. But with a light pencil so you can delete easily yeah? if you go bold in and you're like, oh, I, I, I shouldn't do that, then, then it will be a problem for you. But like I said, just literally copy whatever you see, uh, do clean, always remember that word, clean. That's how Clean Rock One won the Ink Master because these tattoos were clean. He got the first place. Two times he didn't win because he didn't win, but he was there on the stage and he, he that got him so far up there that he never were sent home for bad tattoos because he always were clean. And that's exactly what your customers want. Loads of little details, but they're all clean. Yeah little cracks little bumps all that but the overall the image is clean it's readable it's understandable you know it's a girl you know it's it's a tiger you know that's the masks what they have the helmets 
and you know that's a sword or katana for them. So, readable, messy, but readable, clean. Yeah, so I'm gonna fly through the tiger, get the lines down, get this done, then I'm probably gonna turn off the light box to see what we really have, and then we'll make some adjustments there. Right. So this is the line work what we have. Then I put my iPad literally there so I can see exactly what I need to do. Because now it's time for fine liners. Remember there's multiple sizes of lines. So outside I'd always do thicker, which is 0.8 or maybe double that. And then inside lines I do smaller ones. Here you can see a little bit better, which outside is way heavier and then inside lines you do smaller and makes the whole design a lot cleaner just remember yeah always clean lines like extremely clean as clean as you can get probably it looks quite detailed already but I reckon I'm gonna make it more detailed because a lot of small details I couldn't see through the paper because it printed out not good enough and when it shows through the paper it it loses quite a lot of small details so I'm probably gonna add more details than it is like for example here loads of little bumps creases scratches from like fighting which are not really there but I will do anyway just because it adds a little bit more like history more nature more reality kind of same I'm gonna do for the horns here probably there um, loads of little details in here I'll do a lot more than it's than it's here and yeah let's fly
here we are after about seven or eight hours I wanted to do something really busy and with a lot of details and I think I've accomplished that I'm really happy how the woman turned out really beautiful really soft I wish I had softer paper but when I bought it I felt I felt like it, it's smooth enough but when I'm drawing now I, I don't believe like it's it's that smooth but it is what it is it is a busy design but I still believe you can see everything what's happening what's going on because there's like millions of details on this design and I didn't want to speak too much in between otherwise this could be like half an hour 40 minute video maybe it is already but you know I try to talk less so you can enjoy art more but if you wanna me talking more over the videos you just let me know otherwise I don't know what should I do should I talk or should I just let the art speak for itself I don't know you need to let me know guys designs like this you can see on Pinterest and I'm really really happy that I can draw them now and I can literally show you how it's how it's done how you can start from zero to hundred because I remember myself and I was just starting these designs seemed like the goal the end goal the the target where i need to be and now when i'm drawing to this level it's really really hard for me to surpass myself to bring myself to the next level because nothing really surprises me and nothing really challenges me maybe this seems really crazy and busy design but this didn't took me any effort to do it it just took me a time but not the skill and patience so I don't know really what I should aim for the next level as for myself I always tell you guys progress and teach and learn and I just don't know where I should go next because this used to be my end goal now I'm here uh, I'm thinking what should I do next but I know I'll figure out I never stop I always learn I'm gonna jump maybe on different style or something but I always gonna be developing my own skills and if you managed to get this far in the video thank you very much leave a comment say what do you think about this one did it really help you to understand anything or any suggestions for the next video let me know i really appreciate all of you guys getting involved so i can see what you're really aiming for there was this request about animals so i did a tiger i don't know if i did really justice to explain how to draw them but I, I tried my best maybe I'm gonna do a couple more videos of animals and then you can rewatch few of them and you're gonna get better picture um, I had lots of videos I have a lot of videos about portraits about hair about composition about planning about sketching about doing uh, what's his name light box all sorts of little tips and tricks in in a lot of videos you just need to watch them all to get the whole picture and once you if you would really watch all of them through you would know a lot of stuff because there's only like specific tips I can give on specific drawing and to understand that you just need to go on different videos to rewatch them and relearn them and then you'll get yeah yeah I'm talking too much way too much I'm just gonna say thank you very much guys leave a like if you liked it leave a dislike if you didn't like it if you got any suggestions or any anything you didn't like it just let me know in a comment section because I do like to know what you like guys and what you don't like otherwise I don't know you know so thank you very much again you did really good good watching thanks